you can at least hit him, get some damage, make him think about that crouching, uh, crouching forward, and then get in. Uh, also, one thing that Dudley players do is that they, they can still deal with lows, but it's more read-based on the trip. If you get that good read with the trip, Dudley's fully in and can really switch a matchup on its head. Yeah. But before that happens, you're still using a slow normal to contend with a, just a fantastic low forward from, yeah. Dudley, or from Guile. Just a quick heads up to Spencer. The names are reversed, so we have Swagwad on Guile. There yeah. we go. Thank you, sir. So right now, Dudley has positioning. Oh, could have got an anti-air right there with that, that neutral forward from Dudley. So great to anti-air. Some decent pressure going on from uh, Jab Drunk right now. It's a scary position for Guile, and it definitely is now. One hit confirmed. That could be death. Oh, great wow. flash kick. Good read on the sweep. That was really good timing on that wrist there. He had no meter, but he had to go for something, and he made the right read. Yes, Jab Drunk had a, had a crucial drop there, and that was a yeah, perfect, solid finish from Swagwad. Uh, jab Drunk had the jabs in, and he tried to hit Confirm into the Fierce, didn't quite get it. It would have been an easier link to go into the stand round house. Absolutely. Oh, Ooh, wow. with a DP. I think that's an execution error. Yeah, it could have been a machine gun blow or something yeah. like that. That's Gal just jumping yeah. in for free. Another There's no standing medium. Yeah, another dropped anti-air. Like you said, the standing medium from Dudley. Oh, good hit confirm right there. You could see that the, the Sonic Boom traveled, and he was able to follow up when the Sonic Boom hit. A couple of random jump-ins coming in from this Dudley here. I think he's not really setting up too much. He keeps getting anti-air. He's got to make him really just slow down his reactions, really make him think on the ground before we start jumping. Oh, and I like that. Well, I like that he picked Ultra 1. Because he definitely, I, I think he's going for that punish when he's picking Ultra 1 right there. Mm -hmm. Because Ultra 1, it's faster now. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't do the, the amazing autocorrect that it had in the, the builds, the mm -hmm. beta builds, but it's still significantly faster for guaranteed punishes on block. Yeah, and the first game goes to Haywad. Very, yeah, very convincing. Very like we convincing. said, it, it's that kind of, you know, really difficult matchup. Dudley never really mm -hmm. got in, and when he did, Jab Junk's execution didn't pan out. So he yeah. is going to be making the switch to Balrog. Yeah, I thought there was a lot of guesses on the movement. There wasn't really a whole ton of setting up or conditioning. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I mean, he just basically got punished on every single uh, piece of movement that he did, whether it was a jump or a walking forward. Yeah. He just yeah. ate it all. And now we get a change to Balrog, and this is a, his original character, but uh, I don't think he's been playing him for a while. No, he's been, yeah, he's been trying to convert to Dudley as his main for a while. And this is also not a very fun matchup for Boxer. It, it's the same kind of zoning game. Boxer does have better mid range tools than Dudley, obviously. Absolutely. Oh, and he just eats the free jump in. And this, this this life lead is too good. Great EX to blow up the EX dash. Well, even though he's down, he has corner pressure. He has positioning. This is a comeback factor, but he, did, he couldn't take advantage yeah. of it. And, and Heiwa takes that first round. Now he's on match point. If Kyle's getting free jump-ins on you, there, there's something very fundamentally wrong with your anti air game. I think it's partially because he's pressing too many buttons. Let's, let's take a it look. It could be quick. that, too. He's, he's looking at too many things, especially on the ground, and he's just not controlling. He needs to bring in his awareness. Exactly. Uh, because that was another free anti air, too. Could have been low fierce. Finally, he has a life lead to work with. Oh, he's been getting tagged with forward fierce so much. Swagwad, really great reads on his walk forwards. Didn't get the flash kick there. He gets out of the corner, though. This is really good for, for Guile here. Yeah, that is huge, especially in this matchup. You get to get a lot of free damage in on Boxer before you're worked into the corner. Exactly. And I'm a fan of um, Guile going corner to corner in this, in yes. this particular matchup. It, the, the more that he can force Balrog to walk back and forth from corner to corner, the higher the chances I think Guile can win. Right, and, and Guile, he can win this from the corner. It's just better if he's able to get out there. He gets exactly. a lot more free control. There, and we there have we the anti-air. There we go. We have the answer. The low fierce. So Dad drunk, so showing some signs of life. Let's see if he can actually close this out and, and take it another game. Goes for low on the EX rush. Another great read on the flash kick. Two for two. <laughs> so brave. <laughs> so brave with his flash kick game. Got the jump in. Not quite the full hit confirmed, though. He's going for the corner carry here. Yeah, not a lot of damage, but great positioning. And he finally has a life lead, too. Kind of lets up, really afraid of the flash kick at that point. Good good work from Swagwad to, to hold back. But he does have to make a comeback now. Jab Jump playing more patient than he than he was earlier, and I think yes. this is uh, until that point. Yeah, and that was a bad button right there. Gets the full jump in off of that sweep. Gets fully confirmed. No ultra to follow up. Oh! oh! 
look at the life! The my life! God. And in that situation, he had to have some red life, right? Yeah. Because it was... <laughs> I think he kind of got away with that murder. That was so close. Cause it, oh, wow. wow. It, and also, it wasn't even the one that's... It was it was it was ex straight from really far away instead of ex upper from far away. Yeah, that, that I, I thought that that straight was actually going to whip. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was actually going to work out. The timing and the life just worked out perfectly for Jab Drunk and uh, Swagwab has to be pretty frustrated because he he was out playing Jab Drunk for most of that last game. He was, he was. It was pretty much right at the end. Jab Drunk really pulled it out. But he's got a really nice start here. It's only just 19 seconds in the game. Heavy lead. Oh, he's kind of taking heavy hits now though. Now, even, he, even though he's in the corner, he has control, just complete control. Yes, yes, he does. Oh, that could have been... Oh, my God, he got blown up twice off of that crouching pierce. Those were difficult spaces to anti-air. It would have been better if he kind of just got out of the way, I feel. I, I agree, I think. Either go for the air-to-air -air or get out of the way, because that kind of was the perfect space. Focus and backdash. That's, that's that's one of the safest things to do against Balrog. He has nothing to catch you as you backdash. Right, exactly, because he doesn't have charge. You can't do it too much. You'll get worked to, uh, you know, towards the corner. You're exactly. constantly losing ground. But jump roundhouse is not easy to anti-air no, not at from all. Boxer, especially if you're anti-airing with normals. And this time, Jab drunk now on match point. Oh, <laughs> what a reversal. Gets oh the overhead. Goodness. That's the one you can't follow up, but it's safe on block or safe-ish. Against this matchup, definitely safe on block. Yes, There's yes. nothing that Gal has that punishes Four minus frame two. is the fastest thing yeah, outside exactly. of super. Exactly. Woo! Wow. Scoops him into the air. He puts himself in the corner here. I'm not a fan of this. This is how Haywalk can turn it around right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it doesn't Misses get, the yeah, conversion. Doesn't get the jabs afterwards. Awa still has a very good chance of coming, uh, coming back. Ooh, good anti with the Fierce. Doesn't get the full hit confirmed. I feel like he could have just kept jabbing, but he ended up getting a loose hit there. We're going to the final round. This is an interesting match so far. Scoops him off the ground. Wow. He has not missed a single wake up flash kick, it, it, unless he had meter. <laughs> he is one very, very brave soul. Yes. If he had meter, it was blocked. Whenever he didn't, it would hit. It's just worked out that way. Good blocks. Pretty even so far. Nobody really showing any signs of crazy momentum. Yeah. A yeah. lot of oh, trades. Especially now since the life totals are so close. Mm -hmm. Good air to air. I like that a lot better than trying to anti air the roundhouse all the time. You got to mix it up. Good. Oh Gets the full hit confirmed. Oh, no. Got the full flash kick. That was oh, so no. heartbreaking. That is really unfortunate.